Hello, my lucky stars. Today I'm having leftovers. Leftovers from a seafood boil. So I have a piece of crab leg, a few shrimp, potatoes, sausage, and a little bit of corn. And here's my close up. Like I just can't get the proper visual, the proper angle. So, I hope we got that situated properly. Whew. Thank you for coming. God is great, God is good. God, I thank you for the food in Jesus' name. I ask that it be blessed and nourishing. And please, God, bless anyone who comes in today. In Jesus' name, amen. Usually, if I cook the food myself, I still get hot, even though, you know, it really wasn't that hot in the house before. Today, we're going to be drinking on some Martinelli's apple cider drink. No, apple grape drink. Well, since I gotta get up, I might as well give you a close-up of the drink while I'm here. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, that probably wasn't necessary, so... Please forgive me if you will. <clears throat> Ooh. Oh my God, I almost choked myself. been publicly humiliated. I was watching story time with Miss Ty earlier today and she mentioned the corner store. Mm. And so find another sausage because Hillshire Farm sausage is not what it used to be. So when she mentioned that corner store, and I have a few memories of the corner store. Some good, some not as good. But for whatever reason, the memory that came to my mind today was the memory of the time I was at that store, that corner market, with my mother. And I was probably about seven years old or so. Maybe five, maybe six. And we got over there near the refrigerator section where they have the drinks and the milk and the sodas and the yogurt.
Try to save some for later. So, I remember being standing by that refrigerator. Asking her, could I have a soda? And before I could blink my eyes, she had reached up quickly and slapped the fire out of the side of my face. My face was burning for about three weeks after that. And just that quick. Just because I asked for a soda. And she probably had told me not to ask her anything before we got into the store. And so, of course, I forgot as soon as I excitedly looked at those soda pops. And I just had to have one, or so I thought. Public humiliation. Hmm. when you should yell at your children and maybe even smack them around a little bit. But all my life, I just felt like that was not the day that I deserved to get slapped in the face. Nowadays, you do that to your child in public, and you might get cited for child endangerment, child abuse, or something like that. And I do think, I do believe in. I do believe in uh, spanking children, whooping children. I do believe in that. But I also feel like there are times when we can respond to our children where a soft, gentle tone is just as effective as a mean, grouchy tone. Especially when you consider the implications of the long-term effects of yelling at our children constantly. And so, I just have so much appreciation for the fact that my daughter's in-law speak to my grandchildren kindly and gently. They have a lot more patience with my grandchildren than I had with, with my children when they were younger. And sometimes I feel so badly about that. And I thank God that they forgive me because if they didn't forgive me, then that would just be terrible. And it's a good thing. You know, forgiveness is a really good thing. 
If we never forgave one another, none of us would have any friends. or any decent relationships, fun relationships. You wouldn't even be watching me right now if no nobody forgave anybody because somebody clicked on this video and said, ugh, look at that green lipstick, I'm out. Somebody else clicked on the video and said, Look at all those bright colors. I don't like bright colors. I like putrid colors. I'm out of here. Bye, Felicia! But you, you, you forgave me and you stayed, so thank you. And so that's the question of the day. And the other question is, do you know of any decent, no, not decent, delicious, any delicious convenient sausages that I could get to fry for breakfast or to put in a seafood boil or a gumbo because Hoosier Farms has changed that recipe yet again, and I don't like it. I just don't like it. Mmm, that's so good. There was another question that I wanted to ask. However, it looks like I'm, I have run out of time. Because shout out from yesterday. Plus, I forgot what the question was. I made me a note right there, but <clears throat> I don't really feel like you're looking at the note because, yeah, about that time. My hands are doing something else. See? Does anybody know what's going on with 
MK Bites. He hasn't made a video in a while, and I wonder if he's all right. Pretty sure he is. Better get to those dogs. Get to those shout outs before I. Video entitled Chilean Sea Bass Leftovers. In the pinned comment, I'm going to read. Oh, excuse me, please. Wait, I didn't pin a comment. I thought I did. Well, when I get to it, I'm going to read you the pinned comment, so I better hurry. Oh, my goodness. I don't get nothing else. I'm gonna get that pinned comment in here. So here it is from Tiffany Williams, and she says, "I was gonna watch some of your old videos." Woo Thank you so much. <laughs> Let's pin that to the top right now, and then go down all the way down. Uh, to the bottom comment <clears throat> and this is a newbie Golden Goodies TV Woo Montgomery Family Channel Emma Whitney Brady Bobby Lulu Moore Bobby Lulu Moore I Do Gorgeous The Popcorn Kit Diana Mejia Thrift Queen DR Mike and Bill's Life all things lolly. I am Kiva. Yo, see you, 81. Mike and Bill's life. I am Kiva. Pinky Dale DV Soki Town Home Recipes. Story time with Miss Ty. Story time with Miss Ty. Wait, Miss Ty had something good. She, she gave me lots of wonderful comments. She says, haha, I was tardy to the party, so you ate my share. Okay, next time I'll. Look for some. Thank you, Miss Ty. Tiffany Williams. Tiffany Williams. She said, Yes, God bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Steaming rice. Tiffany Williams. Story time with Miss Ty. Miss Mike and Bill's life. Story time with Miss Ty. Story time with Miss Ty. Tiffany Williams. And the pinned comment from Tiffany Williams. I was going to watch some of your old videos. And I think she said that because, um, well, oh, I can't read mine. So I guess she said it because she wanted to. And so there you have it. Woohoo! Thank you for coming. Roger that. <laughs>